In this video, you're going to learn about milia, which you might have noticed on your baby's skin. We're going to be covering the following information, all of which is split into sections and timestamped. So first of all, what are milia? Well, milia are also commonly referred to as milk spots, and these are small white cysts on the skin, which are filled with a protein that's called keratin. Now it's common to confuse the bumps on the face with whiteheads, which are a type of acne, but it is important to note that milia are not a type of acne. So what are the different types of milia? Now whilst milia are common in newborns and infants, there are different types of milia. In this video, we're going to be talking about neonatal milia, which is the one that affects infants and causes white cysts to form on a baby's skin, most often on or around their nose. Now this type of milia is typically present at birth. There are other types, including primary milia, which are small cysts that are common on the eyelids, forehead, cheeks or genitalia, and these affect both children and adults. Now, I won't go into detail about the other types here, since this video is mainly focusing on milia in infants, but if you want to learn more, then check out the description box of the video, where I've included lots of links and resources which outline the different types in detail. Now, many parents want to know how common milia are. The answer is, they're very common in infants, and depending on the sources of information that you look at, it's thought that about half of all healthy infants have milia when they're born, and they can appear later during infancy amongst premature babies. Now importantly, milia are harmless and they usually disappear on their own after a few weeks. They're also not contagious, meaning that they won't spread from your baby to you. So now we know what they are and that they're harmless and they tend to disappear by themselves, let's take a look at some real life clinical photos to see what they look like. So as you can see in these photos, milia are usually about one or two millimeters across and they're pearly white or yellowish, but they do tend to differ on different types of skin. They appear to be small white bumps on the face and they're most often seen on the skin around the cheeks, nose, eyes, eyelids, forehead and chest, but they can occur anywhere on the body. Now depending on the type of milia, some can be itchy or they can form a raised patch of skin. If you want to share your experience of milia in the comments section to help others, please do so. And if you learned something in today's video, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. Thanks.